All right, YouTube, uh, we are in the afternoon now. Uh, Morgan is still at robotics and Hudson and Sarah went off to Sky Zone for uh, a birthday party. So I'm here waiting for football to start and I'm going to be starting some chicken, uh, buffalo chicken wing dip. So I thought I would show you how I make it and it's really easy, simple ingredients overall. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and walk us through that as we uh, go through the process of making it. The ingredients you need are really quite simple. Obviously we use chicken breast um, and I boil it. So uh, I actually over here have the water boiling ready to go. So I'm about to drop those in. But you can use one of two things for the uh, mixture with the hot sauce. We use Red Hot. You can also use Buffalo Wing Sauce. Um, but you could either use the blue cheese, which I do prefer, um, but today I'm going to just use ranch because um, we also have chicken wings, so I'm going to make sure we have blue cheese for that. Um, but you also use cream cheese right here, which is just set at room temperature. You want it at room temperature for the spreading part of it because it actually goes on the bottom of your pan right there and kind of spread it out. But the uh, Red Hot right here and the ranch, you kind of mix them together and you mince up the uh, chicken once it's done. Boil the chicken for about 20 minutes or so. And uh, then we mix it, <clears throat> put everything all together, throw the, you know, you can use mozzarella. I've done that before, but I also use uh, cheddar cheese and you just sprinkle it over the top and I will walk us through it as we go through. So let's get started. All right, we got the chicken and the boiling water, so I'm just going to drop those in. As I said, I will let them boil for about 20 minutes. So I will see you back then roughly. Chicken done. Let's get ready to dump out the water right now. And you really want to let it sit for a little bit. If you try to mix it up while it's still this hot, you're gonna, it's just, it's hot and it's kind of difficult. The thing that I use, it's actually called the salad food chopper, but this is what I use to actually just mince the meat up super effective and awesome so um, I'm gonna just take it like this and set it in there the only thing that I'll say is like I said just let it sit and cool for a minute uh, because as you mince it it does get kind of stuck in there a little bit so you might have to take your finger there I guess you could take another utensil and use it but um, I like to let it just sit a little bit and um, you know, kind of cool off before I start that because it's going to go back in the oven anyway for about 15 to 20 minutes after that. So the next thing that we'll do is actually get our pan ready here and we have the cream cheese. So we want to go ahead and spread the cream cheese on the bottom. This has been sitting out for a little bit so it's getting close to room temperature. Spread it almost like you're spreading frosting. Do that. It's one of my favorite football dips. You can have it with crackers or tortilla chips, or really anything. I've done it with pretzels. So, or sometimes just eat it by itself. That's good too. And it doesn't have to be like you don't want it like a really thick, it's really going to be kind of thin because you just want that to be kind of like a, 
a little bit of the, like the cooling sensation because <clears throat> you obviously you're going to have the hot sauce and you do have the ranch or if you use blue cheese you can use that but that keeps it kind of cool with the hot sauce but and I like hot sauce so hot sauce for me like Red Hots is not like the hottest sauce I've ever had one of those sauces that like if you're having a party or something like that you're not gonna like steam anybody out of the you know their mouth and stuff like catch on fire because it's so hot but i like a lot of different like exotics uh, kind of hot sauces there's one i tried one time that was called black widow and that was super hot just got a funny story with that one i took it and i put some on a corn on the cob, thinking like, oh, this ain't that hot, and I didn't read anything as far as that goes. And so, when I took a bite into it, it was really, really hot. And so, I drank a lot of milk <laughs> to try to cool my mouth off on that one. All right, I know you can't see my face very well, but I wanted you to see what the pan looked like. So, we have it kind of looking like this, so that's basically perfect. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and mince chicken up. So once again, you just use this and literally, just gonna use it and break it up. And I actually have two dogs. I don't think we've shown them before, but I have a French Bulldog. She's right down here. Her name's Daisy. She's like, please, please drop some of this chicken. I'm hungry. <laughs> And then we have a black lab called River. And she's two years old and Daisy's, uh, Daisy is six. So you see it kind of gets stuck in there, so you just kind of take your finger, push it down through. And then let's go ahead and go back to mincing. <clears throat> and really it's your preference on how much you want to mince it. Like some people like it maybe like a little bit chunkier, but going to be using like tortilla chips or stuff like that are a little thinner the thicker ones when you're trying to like scoop it when you have thicker pieces of meat it does kind of tend to be harder to you know you might have a lot of broken chips as you're trying to do it so i like to mince it down really good This thing's really cool. It's called the Pampered Chef. It's called Salad Chopper, but I've never used it to cut salad, so that is what that is. So we're taking the ranch. Oops, dropped it. And you can kind of put a healthy dose of ranch in there because you want it to be liquidy too. And the Red Hot will help, help with that. And I just kind of eyeball it because I've been making this for so long. Know how much I like to have, so once you do that, just kind of mix it. Oops, just a little. And I can already tell that I need to add a little bit more hot sauce. But it is oh so good. One of the best snacks in general, actually. I'd I made this at a, for Christmas, uh, for a Christmas party for my employees and my team, and they loved it. And if they're watching, I'm sure they're hoping I have leftovers to bring to them on Monday, but <laughs> uh, yeah, it's coming along good now. And I'll show you what I kind of make it look like. I'm just gonna put a little bit more hot sauce. That right there is your end result. And as you can 
can see it's kind of nice and you know, applies pretty well. Easily spreadable, because that's your next step. And actually, I forgot to turn on the oven, so we'll do that. So that's warming, but so we're just gonna do, dump it in here. Right. And the same thing like this, I only use two, I mean, I guess it depends how many people you're going to have, but usually I use two breasts because you don't even really want this to be a thick layer. I mean, you can make it as thick as you want, but to me, it's just about maybe like a half inch layer, I think it is. flavor along with the heat. <clears throat> then the last step, almost at the home stretch, and this basically, I started this about 30 minutes ago, and if I would have had my oven on, I would have had this done, you know, pop it in there and let it you know, heat up again and melt the cheese on the top, in about 15 to 20 minutes it would be ready to go. There. So this can take you basically less than an hour to make. And I like to be generous on the cheese. I love the, when you're kind of putting the chip in there and whatnot, and the cheese kind of stretches out and makes it just, it's good. So, generous with the cheese. So the last thing that will happen is just basically foil over the top. And like I said, 15 to 20 minutes. Let me see if I can turn this up so I can. Got my tripod here. But yeah, so uh, 15 to 20 minutes. At the end, if you want, just to kind of like heat the cheese up and maybe like, not burn it, but like just give it a little extra something. Take the foil off on the last five minutes. Uh, and you'll be happy that you tried it. All right, see you soon. All right, the oven is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, as I said, 15 to 20 minutes. And if you want the last five minutes, take the foil off and it'll be ready to go. So I'll show you the end result once we're finished. <laughs> 